a video is um, is to share with each other, you know, um, the to recognize, you know, the investment that people have made in in us. You know, if you can actually uh, recognize someone, or maybe it could be multiple people who um, who took their time, who invested, who who you know, added something to your life, you know, it could be the most unlikeliest of sources. But if you would like to share that uh, with each other, I think that will be very um, uh, useful. And uh, so you could just probably mention one person and one attribute, uh, one instance of what they did to add to your life, you know, what they invested in, yeah, uh, how they invested in your life. And um, well, if there's any, um, anything that you can share about what you have done you know to invest in the lives of others maybe just one example so for want of time you know just share one thing okay this is what i did or you know l let it be something specific right um well you uh, you, can, you can always say okay i'm pray i prayed for this person you know that's that's an investment that's a, that's a good investment so you can you could mention that you know i pray for this person every day Da, 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 you know from this time to this time um and that's a that's a great investment or if there's anything that's specific that you've that you do or you've done uh you continue to do you know you can mention that so it's it'll be a kind of learning for the others in the group in your group to also to 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 find out that oh okay so this is something that i can do right also to expand their understanding okay here's something that i can do here are these opportunities oh yeah i know such a person who's connected to my life so maybe i can do this so um so if you can share i think that will be um time well spent so we'll take about uh maybe 10 maybe 10 or 15 minutes 15 minutes uh 12 minutes right 12 minutes to do that i think last time we did about 12 minutes so each person can share for a minute right you just um, do it quickly uh and be mindful that the other person also needs to share so you can take about maybe two to three minutes and then you know you can share just find out how many people are there in your group okay so i'm just going to do a random shuffle of course and um, and uh, ask you to do this okay um, so there'll be uh, i think five groups um, let me just set the time Okay, I'm just going to put about 14 minutes because I I, I realize it takes some time for uh, you know the groups to form. And the timer just starts. Um, okay, ready? All right.
Hello, Mangi. Hello. Hello, Mangi. Um, oh, you guys are not in any group yet? Okay. Unassigned, Mangi. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm not sure why that happens. Kennedy is also unassigned. Okay, let me just put you guys in a different group. Okay. Um, Tayesha is assigned to break break out one, but not move there yet. Okay.
um nisha you, were you in in some group or your connection got cut or something uh no my connection was a little bad so i just okay. joined oh i see okay okay i'll just put you in another group uh which is a smaller group okay um i'll just put you there just one second um um okay um hi simran um i think you you got disconnected yes sir network problem i think network problem is it okay 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 let me just put you in a one group okay uh, there's not much time left actually it'll get over in let's say 4 minutes but you can be part of that group and uh, you know okay so i'll just put you in a group one second okay sir yeah okay um uh, which Oh, I'm not able to see your. Okay, yeah, that's it. Um. I'm sorry Simran I'm not able to connect you to any group Okay sir no problem No problem okay okay anyway it it just ended 3 minutes if you can just wait um, Yes sir if, yeah okay 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 okay, okay. okay. thank you
Hey, welcome back, everyone. Um, I'm sorry, some of you got disconnected from the call. Um, I hope you were able to get back into the groups. Um, I hope you had sufficient time. I know Chris was in a group a room by himself sometime. Um, okay, so uh, can we just quickly uh, have uh, maybe, you know, there were, I think, about four groups, maybe one from each group. If you can just share, um, you know, uh, some learnings from this you know, about others investing in us and us investing in others. Um, some learnings, you know, maybe you can just share one point or two points. Um, that would be uh, one learning or two learnings. That would be nice. Um, so breakout group uh, room one, um, who was there? Um, yeah, uh, in room one, uh, it was myself, Abhishek, uh, Nisha, Aisha, and Simran. Uh, okay, okay. Simran couldn't uh, uh, share because she got disconnected and joined back only at the end. She yeah, yeah. Opportunity right. to share. Okay. Uh, yeah, we had a good time discussing and um, uh, everybody shared most of the uh, aspects on both ends on investing in others and invest someone investing in them. Uh, uh, some points were like that uh, praying for others and also especially when uh, Ab Abhishek shared that he moved uh, as a as a new believer into the church, someone really took time to explain him how to pray and uh, how to get along in the church. Uh, that played a significant role in his life. Uh, likewise, uh, Taisha shared about uh, how uh, her uh, mentor has helped her. So, yeah, we had a good time discussing through this. Um, any particular thing about investing in others, you know, what does it take, um, you know, anything pertinent that, uh, you know, that you observed? Uh, like, is it convenient? Is it, you know, comfortable um, about investing in others? Anything that, so any that common thread? Share? Yeah, sure. Go ahead, Rupa. Yeah. Uh, first thing uh, is that the other person should be willing and uh, we should be in uh, in investing we should know what is the need of the person and the potential of the person so that we can invest into it and and also it's not very sometimes it takes time it takes patience it takes uh, a long suffering mm -hmm. when we want to it should be um, only when we are committed and do it consistently can we invest in people's life and when we love that person want to see that his their potential be uh, put into complete uh, uh, use only can we do that i think that's what i came to my mind sir when you said that thank you yeah commitment cons being consistent yeah and um, and and like you said you know the, the passion uh, and attitude um, and also ability. Uh, I mean, these are three things that I. Um, yeah. um, John Smack also talks about these things. Right? When you're seeing in the lives of people uh, and uh, journey with them, uh, uh, do they have the passion and do they have the attitude? You know, do they want to? Uh, and then can they? You know, do we have the ability, or should you? Um, you know, is, is it is it is it is the time now? You know, do they have the ability right now to make that uh, journey? Yeah. So, yeah. So that's those are some things that came to my mind as well. Anyone else wants to share? Um, any other group? Um, I think Mangi, you were in. Uh, were you in the same group as Rupa or Tarun? If you were in a different group, you could share. Um, Maybe Chris, would you like to share? Rupa. Sorry, oh, you're same group as Rupa. Okay, Chris, I think you were in a different group. No? Chris, you were in uh, group number four, I think. If you yeah, like yeah. to I share, got, I got into the group a bit late, so uh, there was uh, yeah. say uh, Kennedy and uh, and Aita. Uh, okay. And uh, I think I think one of the things that came out is um, I guess I picked up on it is that. Uh, most of us had a you know, close relative who would be who would invest in us, and mm -hmm. uh, I think it's really about you know love, which really brings out you know that uh, that need 
to invest in it. Um, and um, so that will be a kind of a, like an online theme. So uh, uh, that came about, that came about uh, uh, in our group. Uh, I don't think we actually covered, I'm not sure about this, but I don't think we even covered the uh, aspect of uh, we investing in others. Um, maybe uh -huh. we, we missed out on that. Oh, I see. Okay. And uh, okay. yeah, so we just talked more about uh, our uh, others invested in. Uh, in others who okay. invested in us. Um, okay. I think the other thing that uh, also comes quite naturally, I mean, at least from, from my side, uh, is you know some some friends you have uh, you know from from school or from college, uh, you know it, it just sort of you know comes um, you know you get you get close. Um, you know, very naturally, uh, and there is no um, sort of uh, uh, need to, you know, expect anything. Uh, but you know, you just get you get get close. And I, mm -hmm. I have a group of uh, of friends uh, from college who are uh, I've I've had for for quite a few years now. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's there, I mean, those that part of one's life, you know, you can't really sort of you know forget. Um, the uh, mm. investment uh, was was there, but it came up naturally, and and sometimes um, there are things that came up that were I mean an outcome would have been positive. Sometimes it was even negative, but uh, it was still part of you know the, the maturity of uh, maturing as 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 uh, as people. So. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's wonderful, you know, like uh, an informal thing. So I guess, um, yeah, so the, you have both aspects to it, like uh, an informal uh, setting where you invest in people's lives. And this comes most naturally, you know, when it's friends or relatives um, and also formal settings where you, you know, you invest in uh, the lives of others. Um, um, but you see that, uh, you know, it's a it's a it's a different um it's a different dynamic and it's a it's a different process right um when compared to um uh, uh you know i'm just looking at it like it you know it's um it's a different process because uh, we are uh, we are not treating people as projects but you know as human beings with emotions as feelings and everything and as people who have the ups and downs and uh, and and i think the most beautiful aspect of it is um like from one john maxwell also shares like you're not in you know you you know you're doing it without expecting anything in return you know you that they will do anything for you but you do it so that their lives can be that uh you know uh, a little bit better you know and and of course like what rupa shared uh, it depends on uh, and on their uh, wanting to do something about it. Uh, they're wanting to change, wanting to put to practice. All that is also also there. Yeah. So, yeah. So it's, it's something. So I just wanted to just uh, just to in, encourage us, you know, to um, to maybe ask the Lord to pray and ask the Lord and see, you know, um, to look to give us moments, right, where we can. It can be a one-off thing. You know, it can be a random act of kindness, uh, maybe an act of generosity. Um, you know, it it can be a one-off thing. But when you look at actually investment, you know, it's 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 a long process, right? It's a it's a lifelong thing, maybe. Um, so to to ask the Lord to say, okay, God, you know, is there anyone? Is there a group? Is there you know uh, some one? Is there just one person? It could be family. It could be you know, people in church, it could be in a work kind of, a, uh, you know, kind of a situation where environment where the Lord would just point out and say, okay, you know, this is, this is someone who's ready. This is someone who's waiting. Why don't you go ahead and, you know, build that rapport, build that trust and, uh, you know, start giving into their lives. Um, right. Not, you're not going to just unburden or download everything, you know, uh, but it's really to, to build a relationship right to do life and and in the process uh invest in their lives right um but in a formal setting i remember i think tarun you you're you mentioning about um i think i heard about this from you know someone else like uh, like you did this training after office hours on microsoft excel for people in office or i don't know if it was 
here in bangalore i think um, so can you just share yes. about that you know something that yes, you did yes uh, so in yeah. fact in the group uh, on my turn i shared the same thing <laughs> uh, oh i see okay you did okay yeah uh, i i remember when i was working in a uh, um, um, where i had to uh, manage a quality team they were not good with uh, excel um, so and uh, excel, excel is very important for us to do analytics and to do work uh, faster uh, and there i found many were not very good so i offered them offer to train them on saturday mornings i told them whoever can come on saturday mornings it's going to be a free training in fact it just started with like uh, three people joining uh, over like i and i continued that uh, for more than 5 months <laughs> and over a period of time i had about uh, 40 folks from the <laughs> company join in every saturday Uh, wow. and that that really counted me even for my appraisal uh, when when they asked me what value you added to the uh, company uh, uh, you know when i when i quoted this no one could dispute because uh, all these people who learned excel they really did well in their jobs uh, oh, and yeah. that was a good investment that uh, everybody considered yeah amazing you know this was outside of office hours outside of uh... what was expected from the role um just went ahead and did it that's that's amazing i think um, that's a that's a great example you know what you can do professionally uh and i'm sure you know the skill will stay with them uh you know throughout their life and uh, praise god for that yeah yeah anita you want to share something oh yes pastor to mention i actually forgot tarun had la- last year he had made one whatsapp group just to enhance uh, whoever was interested to enhance their vocabulary in english whoever wanted to enhance their uh, skills english speaking skills right. and for that also he had invested in and that i had joined that was oh, okay okay yeah yeah, yeah and uh, yeah yeah doing that okay. yeah so the so learning is mutual right um, okay you, you train them on mini tab okay fine uh, wonderful thanks i think uh, i think uh, during the lockdown period you did something on uh, yeah f- uh, i think what anita was talking about about uh, an english basic english course and uh, i think this was something more advanced than that in, in you know improving vocabulary so that was good so yeah so it can be a formal setting it can be an informal setting but what you do uh, you know all that we are doing is um, you know passing on right basically passing on uh and it's um so tarun i'm sure you know going on a saturday morning is not what you would you know uh, most people would want to do you know uh, at work you know, you know you've had some five days of long hours and um, so you know wanting to do another other extra day with people you know same surroundings obviously you know you met you must have had some reason to do that so you want to share that you know maybe uh, you know getting up on a saturday morning what went through your mind uh, what thoughts uh... yeah in in fact i was uh, trying to be a good leader and I, what one thing that i learned is a good leader always invests in people to make a meaningful difference and i mm. couldn't think of a better way to invest than to really teach them genuinely what i learned Uh, and i i i even told them that you know this i am doing it on a saturday because it should not be uh, like a, a part of office hours and that you you know, we are consuming that time and it's only for those who are interested uh, genuinely who make it and uh, so when i did that it it, uh, it it motivated me after like you know initially when i started there were about three people uh, for mm. first two three weeks but later it caught up so well because they went and told others that they really learned a lot and the, the kind of reports that they started sharing changed and everybody wanted to learn and i almost ran out of space because i was running on a 30 people conference room and the office opened up <laughs> saying you can use all the space you want and the people oh, literally standing and uh, i used to do this trainings for about 4 hours on saturdays and they and i used to divide them in groups give them exercises so it, it was a mutual uh, uh, learning and i learned a lot as well uh, from them as i did and and they learned a lot 
it, mm. it was good it got the pace after i started so starting was a difficult thing but after i started it was easy to go on okay okay and uh, were there some days that you didn't want to do it like uh, you know your schedule you know everything yes that... Uh, that happened after uh, like few weeks when i i i had to travel once and i asked a few guys who have already been learning if they would want to take up and they did that as well i i set up like two guys uh, to do on a saturday that i was not there and okay. uh, they were glad to uh, continue that yeah oh very nice wonderful yeah chris was talking about the quiz yeah uh, i was part of the few quizzes during that time the bible quiz that we had hey, maybe you should do it for the you know for the bible college also uh, informally <laughs> that was very interesting the quizzes um yeah, yeah for those of you who were uh, kind of you know thinking what this was about the, we had some online quiz you know when the lockdown happened like tarun and lena had moved to france and uh, you know we were all at home you know working from home so so this this quiz was uh, i think you ran it for about a month or so or a couple of months i think yeah we actually did about like uh, 12 chapters it was about 3 months <laughs> during yeah yeah and weekly so. yeah so pretty intense you know different round very interesting actually and and the depth to which you know we ha- one has to study uh, to uh, to find out the answers it was really good Uh, so it was nice yeah so uh, so all of us have uh, something to give you know it maybe it, it may not be of this nature like of what tarun did of um, or you know uh, anyone else so but there's no need to you know compare and say i need to do something on those lines if it resonates fine you know if there's something you're saying okay hey, i have this skill and i can do it that's fine um but uh, but if it's um, you know for example um I, i'm just uh, you know i just felt like uh, you know just i was just to i was just reminded to share this uh, that in the initial days of our marriage i i remember um, uh, that my wife would take all our you know uh, our house helps uh, there's two people who are coming and then the people they know to um, to a meeting you know like uh, i think a weekly uh, meeting like she was not conducting someone else was conducting but then she would take them uh take them for that meeting and uh, and some of them were born again and some of them were you know really strengthened um during that uh, that bible study prayer time and uh, and one of them of course continues to you know be part of our lives and she comes and she's a strong believer and recently you know she uh, she got she took baptism and she was very joyful she did this and uh, she shared with us she had a you know a long term uh, addiction to uh, you know uh, uh uh chewing pan and uh, uh and she was uh, and she very joyfully testified saying you know I've taken baptism and I you know chewing tobacco and all that so uh she testified of that so so you know it can be a small thing right and but it can have very big repercussions very big consequences um uh, you know f- and fruitfulness in people's lives and and we, we don't have to do with the intent we don't have to start doing this with the intention of oh it's going to be something big need not be but you just have the joy of uh, serving others just have the joy of uh, sharing this what you have you know giving what you have and it it will uh, definitely make a you know difference in people's lives yeah okay we have i think i guess we'll stop here now we have about 10 more minutes uh, uh, but we'll stop here and we'll continue uh, next class and uh, next class we'll we'll pick up from where we left and then also try and cover as much as possible on teamwork right so and then probably next class and the other the for one following we should be done right okay so we'll stop here thank you everyone have a great weekend uh see how you can be a blessing in someone's life right this weekend god bless bye bye thank you pastor see you take care bye bye thank you pastor god bless you see you later bye bye see you guys thank you pastor